This is Joe Reagan. And this video is to show you a few options for creating planes in SolidWorks. So I've created a part here. And inside the part, you can go to Features and Reference Geometry and Add Plane. So this will bring up a dialog box that will allow you to constrain the plane you're trying to add. Uh, one option would be to make a plane a certain distance from an existing plane. Okay, so you'll see that plane is fully defined and you could hit check and now plane 3 exists and you could use it. I'll delete that and show you a couple more options. The next one I want to show you is an angled plane. An angled plane requires an edge, so I'll create a quick sketch and we'll use the line in the sketch as an edge. I'll connect the line to the origin and draw it vertical. Now I want a plane that's angled relative to the front plane and it contains the line that I just drew as well. So I'll go to features Reference Geometry, Plane, and this time I'm going to choose Angled. I want the plane to be angled at a 45 degree angle relative to the front plane. I also want it to contain this edge. So it's coincident and check. Now we have that plane that's angled at a 45 degree angle. It's also handy sometimes to create a plane that's normal to a curve at a certain point. So I'll create another sketch in the plane that we just created. And maybe I'll just draw a polyline. And I might want to create a sweat protrusion where this is the path of my polyline and it could be handy to create a plane for the profile that's perpendicular to the path or perpendicular to this curve and containing that endpoint. So let's do that. I'll close out that sketch and go to Features, Reference Geometry. I'm going to create a plane. And the first reference is going to be this point and I want the plane to be coincident with that point. I want it to contain that point. And the second reference, I want it to be this curve. And I want the plane to be perpendicular to that curve. So check. Now we have a plane that's perpendicular to that curve and it contains the endpoint. I'll draw the profile in the plane that we created. So I'll go sketch this guy. And now I'll create the swift protrusion. And so anywhere along the path, if you make a cut normal to the path, you should end up with a circular profile. Hope that helps you get started making planes in SolidWorks. Thank you for watching.